Zamil really did integrate with my team exceedingly well. So for me, it's one thing for the sales director to actually come up with a concept, but if you actually include your team along the way in the journey, they all buy in. Plus they have a lot of other different ideas that can actually be captured along the way to make sure that the result we get out is not just two people's idea, it's actually broader. Um, and that obviously allows us to be more successful. People get excited because they can see their ideas we take into account uh, and then they can hit the ground running. So it's, um, it's a really good way to do business. I guess you know, what this has done for my team is, uh, yeah, they now understand that we have a good product that can actually go to market. They understand that we've spent the time to look at uh, what are the hurdles that could be in our way. Um, we are ticking the box legally, we are ticking the box on a regulatory front. Uh, we, we comply with what the Guild is actually looking at as well. Um, so they're feeling much more comfortable um, and for them, uh, they're really excited for this product to obviously be launched and uh, we've already got a number of our, our sites ready to trial the product as soon as we can. My team um, uh, have been very receptive, I guess, to what Zamil's recommendations were. Uh, I think that his skill set and his background as a pharmacist gives him a lot of kudos straight away with my team. So they will sit up and listen rather than just go, this guy's trying to sell me something. Um, so they believe in his approach that he's doing, the way that uh, he's researched everything, the way that he's put together something which is really easy to understand. And, you know, I guess one of my prereqs was to, I need a two-pager that I can actually show these guys. Um, they, they can go, oh, I can understand that, rather than a, you know, a 30-page document. It's got all the information in there. They just need the key points because uh, they haven't got the time to read through it, but they can assimilate things really quickly. So, uh, Zamil provided that information in a really good way, and uh, it was easy to understand, and then we could ask a million questions around it. What were the aha moments? Um, there's probably quite a few, but um, I guess for us, you know, the product itself, um, we, we looked at what else was actually happening in the market with some of our uh, major customers and the way they were doing business. And I guess when we looked at that, we went, right, so they're doing something similar anyway. So that means that we could probably just tweak what our product to comply with those sort of similar standards. It wasn't going to be an enormous amount of work. It wasn't going to be a, a massive change to the market and the way they'd interpret this. So for us, we went, wow, this is a really cool product and you know, it's, uh, it's something which is going to be easy to get to market, a lot easier than we thought. What Zamil does, which is probably a bit different than a lot of um, other consultants, is that he just doesn't go, oh, great, my job is now over. Um, he stays in, in communication. He's, he has a a real interest to make sure that this product actually goes to the next level. Um, so I think he likes to see that what he's actually provided does translate into a saleable product in our example, and it becomes something really special that he's been part of. So I think that sort of shows that you know, he has a real interest in what he does and a real passion. It's like anything, you know, I think if you make sure that you've got everything covered at a base level, you can build anything on top of that, right? So I'm a firm believer, even in a sales process, you get your base right, you can build anything on it. If your base has got a lot of cracks in it, um, it's going to fall over. So I think with what Samil has provided us, it's allowed us to make sure that our base is really solid. Uh, and now it's just up to us to get the marketing strategies and the approach right um, to actually capitalise on all of that. Mm -hmm.